I would just love it if some of the former, you know, I, I think SB 1047 was very polarizing. I would love it if some of the most reasonable opponents and some of the most reasonable um, uh, proponents uh, would sit down together and, you know, I think, I think that, you know, the different, the different AI companies, um, you know, Anthropic was the, the only AI company that, you know, felt positively in a very detailed way. I think Elon tweeted, uh, tweeted briefly something positive, but, you know, some of the, some of the big ones like Google, OpenAI, Meta, Microsoft were, were pretty strong, staunchly against. So I would really like is if, if, you know, some of the key stakeholders, some of the, you know, most thoughtful proponents and and some of the most thoughtful opponents would sit down and say, how do we solve this problem in in a way that the proponents feel brings a real reduction in risk and that the opponents feel that it is not it is not hampering the the industry or hampering innovation any more necessary than it than it than it than it, than it needs to. And and I think for for whatever reason that things got too polarized and those two groups didn't get to sit down in the way that they should. Uh, and, and I feel, I feel urgency. I really think we need to do something in 2025. Uh, uh, you know, if we get to the end of 2025 and we've still done nothing about this, then I'm going to be worried. I'm not, I'm not worried yet because again, the risks aren't here yet, but, but I, I, I think time is running short. Yeah. And come up with something surgical, like you said. Yeah, 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 exactly. And, and we need to get, a, we need to get away from this, this, this intense pro safety versus intense anti-regulatory rhetoric, right? It's turned into these, these flame wars on Twitter and nothing good's going to come of that.